We've got a look at the light effects Star Wars Disney Infinity figures that light up when you put them on the portal. We've got a look at Spot from The Good Dinosaur and we've also got a look at Nick and Judy from Zootopia. Welcome to Family Gaming TV. As you may have seen already, we had a ton of Star Wars and Disney Infinity updates for you yesterday. Now we've got some more footage um, of the figures. As you can see, we have got Finn and Rey on the camera. We're getting close for a look at this figurine of Finn, played by John Boyega. Has a gun, apparently one of the most powerful guns in Disney Infinity so far. And in the game, you can see it has that nice red tip, making it clear that it is a children's toy rather than a weapon that might do any damage. And I think he looks really good in the game. As we move on to have a look at Ray, played by Daisy Ridley, has that staff weapon, that sand outfit, a holster on her hip. It looks like you have a sort of a hand blaster there and looking good in the game, some really nice fluid action. But alongside these new characters, another exciting announcement was the addition of light FX Star Wars characters. These have lightsabers that light up when they're placed on the base. They're going to include Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader from Rise Against the Empire, as well as Anakin, Yoda, Obi-Wan um, from the Twilight of the Republic set. And they'll be coming out in special edition packs. Um, it sounds like you can buy them on their own, but of course they'll be at a premium. And I like that. If this is a move away from those crystal figures to a character that actually has an additional function as you can see on the screen we can just apply some light effects to give you a sense of what it would look like in real life but these figures I think are going to be really popular if you're going to want them I think it's going to be the sort of thing you'll need a pre-order at retail. Speaking of pre-order again speaking of pre-ordering this limited edition Star Wars Disney Infinity 3.0 bundle for the PlayStation 4 may be another item that you really need to get in early on. It's going to be exclusive to Walmart on November 17th. It includes the Darth Vader inspired 500GB PlayStation 4. But I think more interestingly, that really nice DualShock 4 wireless controller that has got those accents in red and grey to give it that Star Wars Disney Infinity feel. Interestingly though, that bundle doesn't seem to include the Twilight of the Republic playset that you get in the Saga Special Edition pack. Here we get our um, Rise Against the Empire playset, which won't be available at launch, but will be available a month, uh, a month later for everyone else. At launch, you can only get it in that PlayStation 4 Saga bundle. Moving away from Star Wars and towards Marvel, we thought we'd be getting the announcement of a a playset for either Age of Ultron or Ant-Man. We had that teased recently and I think probably that means that we're going to get an Ant-Man figurine rather than playset, which is interesting in itself. How big would that Ant-Man figure be? But what we do have is the Marvel Battlegrounds playset being announced. Now this is interesting because it's a four-player um, campaign co-op game. Now we've had four-player before in the toy box but never in a campaign so I'm itching to see more about Marvel Battlegrounds. Moving on, we also had those free figurines announced. There was again a teased on Twitter, what would they be? The first of these is Spot from The Good Dinosaur, the upcoming Disney Pixar film. As you can see, the branding here for the character we've got looks really nice. And in the hand, he's got this massive grin, a full set of pearly white teeth, and just looks, you know, looks great. We've got a, a shot of him also in action in the toy box and as you can see on screen they've really captured that sense of what Spot um, feels like in the film. Of course this is a character that doesn't seem to have its own playset but will be available to use in the toy box. The other two characters were Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps as you can see on screen here. Now these are characters from the Walt Disney animation upcoming film. Again I don't think they're going to have a playset although that's still I guess to be confirmed. But again, looking nice on the screen. Moving on to other characters. Of course, we already knew about Hulk Buster and Ultron, but they were confirmed to be coming in November. You've got them on screen here in the toy box and an updated version of that Speedway um, toy box minigame. We've got some extra levels here. I've got a Marvel level, got an inside out level and Sumo Digital obviously still pulling out all the stops to make this toy box minigame all that it can be. Talking of minigames, we've also got a new level here for the Toy Box Takeover Mode, featuring a reprise for some of our Incredibles characters with a focus on Syndrome and bringing down his no doubt dastardly plan to take over the world. 
Rounding off the news was the uh, ultimate unlock this year, which is going to be for Kingdom Hearts, that Keyblade item. You've got Mi Mickey holding it here. Now, this is the item that when you get all the figures in and you've upgraded them all to maximum level, they're all fully upgraded, then you get that unlock. In Disney Infinity 1.0, you had the lightsaber, and in 2.0, you had the um, land speeder. Now, that makes me wonder whether we're going to have more Kingdom Hearts content coming up because those two, 1.0 and 2.0, those ultimate unlocks were essentially a tease of content to be coming. We also had news of the Toy Box Creator's Choice for the figure they wanted in the game and that will be Peter Pan, not coming until next year and we didn't get an image of that. So there you go, that's our look at all the news, all the images up close, all those, um, the Force Awakens characters, those um, light up effects figurines that I really like, a little bit like the light core. But what I want to know is what you think of all this. Let's work it out, Team Family Gamer TV together. Get in on the comments. I want to know what, is, what are the winners, what are the losers? Is this making you more excited for what's coming up in Disney Infinity 3.0 beyond the launch on into 2015, 2016? Let us know what you think. Mm -hmm.